This video will walk you through connecting a Cantec KT1 controller using an I.O. Smart Reader to CloudView. Be sure you have followed the steps in a separate video on configuring the KT1 controller for CloudView mode before proceeding. Yet another video was provided with information on properly wiring your I.O. Smart Reader to the KT1 controller, which must use RS-485. After connecting your I.O. Smart Reader to the KT1 controller, Connect the system to your network to communicate with CloudView. When opting to use an I.O. Smart Reader with a KT1 controller for mobile accessibilities within your CloudView account, you will add your I.O. Smart Reader into the account first. Do this by pressing the Account button from the side menu, then choose the Devices tab from the top of the page. Click the Add New Device button and select Add Mobile Access Device. Enter a descriptive name Enter the serial number located on the back of the reader, followed by a dash and the confirmation code, also located on the back of the reader. Next, select a function mode. Because you are choosing to install this reader with a KT1 controller, you will choose Panel-Based Mobile Credential Reader. For panelist installation and configuration, please refer to other videos. Panelist installations do not include a KT1 controller and do not permit use of key cards or fobs. Select your location from an existing list or enter a new one. Save your changes when done. Next, add your KT1 controller to your account if you have not already done so. This is done by returning to the Devices tab and pressing the Add New Device button but selecting Add Access Control Device. Once again, detailed steps can be found in the separate KT1 CloudView mode video. With the controller added, you will enter the controller settings to associate the I.O. Smart Reader with the controller. From the Settings page, select the Readers tab. Check the Mobile Credentials box. This box allows users to use the CloudView Access mobile app with the reader, as well as traditional access control cards and key fobs if desired. You may now use the drop-down selector beside the I.O. Smart Serial Number field to select the previously configured I.O. Smart Reader. When you click the Save button, this reader is now paired with the KT1 controller. The remaining settings may be configured as desired and described in the KT1 CloudView Basic Configuration video.